Well, hello, I'm Dr. Julia Royston of VK Royston Publishing, Royal Media and Publishing, and the book Business Bosses, where we help you get your message to the masses, turn your words into wealth, and be a book business boss. I am super excited and over-the-top ecstatic to be on with the attending authors of the Montgomery uh, Book Fest and Writing Expo, uh, along with my co-host and cohort and uh, partner in crime, uh, Dr. Vernette C. Nettles, who is uh, the boots on the ground, the coordinator, the running around, making sure everything is ready for the uh, book festival. So our recording, our time together today is twofold um, for to invite you to the uh, Montgomery um, book Festival and Writing Expo on Saturday, March 11th, uh, 2023 uh, at 9.30 a.m. Well, 10 a.m. Uh, the authors will be there by nine so that you can slide in. We had people come early last year. So, uh, and at the former Ar Armory. And so in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. So super excited about that. But those of you who are listening and may hear this, and you say, I can't get to Montgomery. I don't live near there. No problem, no worries. You can still support these authors in what they are offering, their writings, et cetera. So first off, I'll go first. So I'm Julia Royston, as you know, I write in multiple genres. For all of my books, go to juliaroystonstore.com. That's juliaroystonstore. Dot com. I'm on all social media, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok. And nope, I'm not dancing, but I'm on TikTok as well, some informative videos. So I'm super excited to be an attending author to the Montgomery Book Fest and Writing Expo. For more information and to register to attend the Writing Expo, go to BurnettCNettles.com. That's V-E-R-N-E-T, a C in the middle, N-E-T-T-L-E-S dot com. So super excited about that and look forward to you all being with us. Dr. Jo Jackson, take it away. Good evening. I'm Dr. Dolores Jackson. I am from Florida, Crestview, Florida, to be exact. I am the author of two published books. I have a third book that should be published in April. I write inspirational and children books. The title of my books are Faith by Walking Came to Glory, that's the inspirational. And the children's book was just released about three weeks ago, three, four weeks ago. It is My Dinosaurs. And you can find my books on Amazon. You can find them on Barnes and Nobles, anywhere pretty much books are sold. And you can get them on my website as well, tandyenterprises.org. That's T-A-N-D, enterprises.org. You can get them at drdeloisjacksonauthor.com. That's the uh, author's page for the book. And you can also find me anywhere on the social medias, the LinkedIn, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And again, like I said, a lot of things you can find on my personal website, and that's Tandy Enterprises. Thank you very much. Next up are the Brinkleys, um, Dr. Alfred Brinkley and Mrs. Jessie Brinkley. Well, good evening. I'm Dr. Alfred Brinkley, and this is my wife, Jessie Brinkley. And we are from Athens, Alabama. And we are the authors of uh, several nonfiction educational books for children. And we are all about motivating, educating, and empowering students for success. And our books are entitled Let's Be Smart, Courageous Expectations, Empower From Within, A Smart School of Fish, and Having Fun at Nana's House. And that's, <laughs> you take over. Okay. Um, you all can find us, and, and by the way, Jesse Brinkley here. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Alfred Brinkley, Jesse Brinkley, Instagram, Alfred Brinkley. Uh, follow us on our online website and store, um, CourageousExpectationConsulting.com, and you can purchase our books from our online store. And our other website is Alfred Brinkley, um, the number two, at Yahoo.com. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Up next is Dr. Brandon Beeman. 
Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Brandon Dean Beeman. I am a PhD in public health. I am originally from Camden, Mississippi, and I am a health and wellness expert. And the name of my book is called Discover Your Vertex, A Beginner's Guide to Health and Wellness. It is a book that basically breaks down all of the, the complicated science and then breaks it down into lay terms for even people that are not familiar with the science so they can pick it up and re read it very easily to get them started on their health and wellness journey. I tell my personal story in there and I use my story as an example as to how you can apply the principles of health behavior theories to your life. And you can find my book on drdeanbeeman.com. It is also available on Amazon. If you order my book online on my website, drdeanbeeman.com, I will give a I will write in a personalized message for you as well as put my insignia on it. Standard versions will be on Amazon. I am also located on all social media sites. Well, not all of them. I am on TikTok. I am on Instagram. I am on Facebook and also LinkedIn. Again, my name is Dr. Dean Beeman and that is my work. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, sir. Coming up next is Ms. Pamela Taylor. Hi, my name is Pamela Jennings Taylor. And I am from Pelham, Alabama. I've written two books now. Um, the first one is called From Mommy to Mentor, Parenting Adult Children. Um, that particular book helps moms. It can help coaches, anybody who influences kids, but especially moms make that transition from being the mommy role to now being the coach or the mentor to their adult children. Um, my other book is um, called Headline, God Makes Good on His Promises Again. That book is a journal. It's a three-month jumpstart journal for people who are new to journaling and want to develop a habit of journaling. Uh, it takes maybe about um, three months total to really lock in being um, in the habit of journaling. So that's what that book is about. And um, my books can be found on Amazon, um, Barnes and Nobles, any of those online store um, sites, as well as you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and also mommytomentor.com, my website. Um, and let's see, I think that's about, about all. That's where you can find me. And of course, um, these books, I believe, will be valuable uh, to you, especially the Mommy to Mentor uh, Parenting Adult Children. That's a, a whole different ballgame. Thank you. You're welcome. I can only, I definitely only imagine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Coming up next is Ms. Sophia Bracey Harris. Thank you very much uh, for the invitation. Uh, I am uh, Sophia Bracey Harris from Wetumpka, Alabama, and my book, I'm a first-time uh, author of my book, is titled Finding My Own Way, A Journey to Wholeness Against the Odds, and this book is really uh, about my story of defying some of the lines drawn by Jim Crow, being a part of the first to integrate uh, schools in Wetumpka, having our family home firebomb. And the, the against the odds really speaks to Ill, childhood illnesses, racism, sexism, and some of the many ways that tells us that we are not okay. It is a memoir. It can be found uh, at my website, uh, www.sophiabharris.com. If you order my book online, uh, I am able to do a personal signage uh, for you. And I am very excited uh, about the, the book fest and getting to meet all of these wonderful authors and, and hope that, um, again, we'll have the opportunity to do more sharing I'm on Facebook. Uh, I have a, a Facebook page for my book, Finding My Own Way 2020. Uh, I am also personally on Facebook, Sophia uh, B. Harris, and uh, Instagram. 
and um, I don't know about TikTok yet, but anyway, <laughs> uh, but delighted to delighted to be a uh, a part of you know this this group of writers. Excellent, excellent. We're glad to have you. And don't worry about TikTok. You can get on when you want to get on. Whenever you <laughs> come on in on TikTok, come on in on TikTok. For those of you who are joining us, you are viewing uh, the attending authors of the Montgomery Book Fest and Writing Expo. But we also wanted to make sure that you knew how to find these authors and their books even before and even after uh, the Book Fest is over with and the Writing Expo has been done and you still want to support these authors, please do so. We have a wide range of genres, a wide variety of um, uh, books that will interest many no matter what time of the year, you can always purchase a book and give it as a gift. So I highly recommend all of these books. Find the genre that, that really excites you and motivates you and find these authors on social media so that you can follow them and continue to know what else they're doing and what's coming up next, all right? So coming up next is Miss Alice Novak with a special project that she's highlighting. Uh, Miss Novak? Hi, I'm here representing 30 high school authors and illustrators, most of whom are students of Montgomery Public Schools and Butler County Schools. We also have Elmore County Schools represented, and these student authors and illustrators are part of a program called That Could Be Me, Alabama, Journeys to STEM Careers, and they've written books to inspire elementary students about great living Alabamians. They're working to increase diverse role models to get people excited about STEM. And I'm so thrilled that several of them will be joining us at the Expo. And thank you, Dr. Rolston and Dr. Nettles for inviting us as a group. You can find us on Instagram at that could be me underscore AL. And there you can go ahead and hear from some of the student authors and illustrators who you'll be able to meet. And we are represented on a website, megathinking.org. That is the website of the Foundation for the Art and Science of Learning, who has presented this project. But the students have worked so hard to create imaginative, inspirational pieces for younger students in their district. But the truth is, I think so many of us of all ages have loved learning about the subjects, whether they work for NASA or a dentist or a doctor or a weatherman. They're just a wide range of wonderful Alabama STEM professionals represented by our group. Thank you very much. Next up is Ms. Marisa Tuck. Hi, good evening. My name is Marisa Tuck and I write faith-filled fiction. I focus on inspirational stories that are filled with love between God and his people. Um, all of the characters and situations that I write about are rooted in faith. I'm the author of two published works, Times Like These and And Troubles Rise. My third novel, Playing Church, will be published later this year. And my first children's release will also be published this year. You can find my work um, on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, marisatuckwrites.com, which is my website, but also at local independent bookstores in Alabama, like Sweet Home Books in Wetumpka, For Heaven's Sake Christian Bookstore in Ellick City, the Birmingham Civil Rights Museum Bookstore in Birmingham, and then the Montgomery, Millbrook, Wetumpka, Alexander City, and Tuskegee Libraries. So I'm so looking forward to connecting with local authors and connecting with readers and just getting to getting to know other people and getting them to know my work. Faith Filled Fiction, Marisa Tuck writes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Coming up next is uh, Mr. Corey McKinney. <clears throat> uh, 
How you guys doing this evening? Uh, my name is Corey McKinney. I'm a, a two-time author of two books. They're both of uh, true stories, inspirational. Uh, one is Coach Darrell's Coach. It's a um, true story book about the the greatest youth football team of all time. We played for uh, a coach who uh, taught us a lot about discipline, having character and structure. It was like a father figure to about 40 kids. We lost one game in six years, 89 to one within six years. So that's that's the first book. And uh, my latest book is called Foster Dad. Uh, this is a true story also about um, about eight years that my family fostered probably about 50 kids uh, here in Birmingham. I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. And uh, it's a lot of serious stories in there and a lot of funny stories as well. Uh, trying to um, place a positive light on fostering and adopting or just helping kids out in general. You know, that's the main main purpose. I understand everybody can't foster, but we all can do something to help out. Uh, my books are Again, in this Birmingham Civil Rights Museum, just like the previous uh, author. Um, and a lot of libraries here in Birmingham. Uh, they're on Amazon and uh, my website where I can sign them and send them to you, which is coreymckinney.net, C-O-R-E-Y-M-C-K-I-N-N-E-Y.net. So that's about it. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Coming up next is Ms. Deborah Brocks. Everyone. My name is Deborah Rocks, and I am an educator from Alabama, Greensboro, Alabama, and I've educated in the school districts. And I have, my last school district was the Tuscaloosa City School District, but I also worked at the Wilcox County, Marengo County School Districts. I've worked in the uh, Perry County School Districts. I've been in several school districts, through, and I've worked at Hill County School Districts. So I'm an educator by heart, but my book is all about positive affirmation and loving yourself for the wonderful person that you are. And my, my book is, I don't like because I love, and it's all about positive affirmation, loving yourself for the wonderful person that you are. And it deals with anti-bullying and also deals with uh, uh, anti-depression. It deals with self-esteem and just loving yourself for the wonderful person that you love. I don't like because I love is found in an online platform. It's found in all of the different platforms that you have, such as target.com, walmart.com, amazon.com. And it's a, actually an international book as, as well. Because now if you Google, you'll find it international when you, when you Google. And then uh, I am on all the different, different platforms. I am on, I have a YouTube, I am on, Facebook at Deborah Rocks, Twitter at Deborah underscore Rocks, TikTok at Deborah Rocks 22, Instagram at Rocks Deborah, email Rocks Deborah at yahoo.com. And it's my pleasure to introduce I Don't Like Because I Love. Yay! Okay, so one thing I do want to say Rocks is spelled with R O X. So if you're looking for R O C K S, um, but I did want to uh, point that out. Rocks is spelled R O X. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Coming up next is Mr. Ronnie Barnes. Yes, hi. I'm uh, Ronnie Barnes, and I'm the author of the uh, bargain for Amelia Fortune Robertson. She's the matriarch of the voting rights movement that's taking place in Selma, Alabama this weekend. Uh, he uh, wrote the voting rights bill with Dr. Martin Luther King on a kitchen table on Lauderdale Avenue in Selma, Alabama. And that's where I'm headed now to the first mass meeting uh, that's going on about 7.30 in Selma. So I'm excited about that. And I have my second edition of book coming out, Amelia 1965, Old Battles Become New Again. Amelia is responsible for Jesse Jackson, uh, John Lewis, Andrew Young, and everybody else uh, coming to sell me, she and her husband, F.W. Borton. Uh, she's also just got a bus in the archives uh, in Montgomery, Alabama, where the governor of K. Ivy presented to her. And I have diaries, journals, I have teachers' calendars and teachers' uh, planners' books and Masonic diaries and journals on, all on Facebook, uh, where you can see them at and you can go on. Um, 
Amazon and Barnes and Noble. And you can also go to running the writer weaver .com to our purchase. Thank you. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Next up is Miss Aretta Rose. Hello, my name is Aretta Adams Rose. And the name of my book is No, It's Not You, You Are Great. And it is a book about bullying and speaking up when you say, if you see, hear anything, say something. And we all say no to bullying. My book can be found on Amazon and also social media that uh, you can find me on is Facebook and Instagram. And again, you say no to bullying because bullying is never okay. No, it's not you. You are great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And coming up next is Dr. Renette C. Nettles. This meeting is being recorded. Take it away. Good evening. It's so nice to be here with you, Dr. Royston, as we get ready to launch once again the second Montgomery Book Fest and Writing Expo at the Armory Learning Center, 1018 Madison Avenue in Montgomery. We are just so thrilled at the number of authors that are going to be with us. But I want to take a second just to tell you a little bit about my books. Um, I can be found at vernettcnettles.com. Email address, vernettcnettles at gmail.com. Yes, at gmail.com. And um, I write inspirational books, books of poetry. And um, I have my first children's book. And I'm so excited about that. So I want to tell you about the last two books. The children's book is titled Beautiful Just Like Me. And it's the story of a little girl who is being teased about her differences and how her mother explains to her that we all are different and, and we all have different challenges. We're all beautiful. And so it's it's very touching for a lot of the elementary students because some of them are being bullied and teased. And so it allows them an outlet to see that it's something that they can overcome. And then the uh, other my other book for this year is Prayers for Your Fasting Journey. And it's just a book. It's a book of prayers and an opportunity to journal during an opportunity during any opportunity that you take to fast or even have a prayer journey. So those are the latest two books out of um, the things that I'm working on. And um, you can find my books on Amazon, of course, on my website, vernetcnettles.com. I am on Facebook and I'm like Miss Julia, don't dance on TikTok yet, but I'm learning. I'm gonna get some of that down pat and I'll be in all of the other social media avenues as well. But it is so excited to be with you all whenever you listen to the replay. And uh, I thank you to all the authors, to Dr. Royston. You are my ride, and you are my ride, and and go get. Because we're not gonna die. We're gonna we ride died. and go no, get. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it is. It's great to be with you tonight. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. Renette C. Nettles, and we appreciate you. Now, those of you who are watching the video, I'm gonna ask all the authors to turn their video on, and so that you can see them one more time and um, see their names and be sure whenever you watch this, whenever you're listening to this, uh, the replay, be sure and support these uh, phenomenal authors and all that they're doing um, everywhere. Hold on, let me see if I can get a, there we go. Uh, what they're doing and uh, follow them on social media. Be sure and uh, support what they're doing find out what they're doing, jump in their uh, inbox and ask them how they did what they did. Uh, if you're interested in writing a book, be sure it is the best way to find out more is if you interview or ask someone who's already done it. Um, mm -hmm. I find that people ask all the time, so how do you get started? So how do you start? Here is a wide variety of <laughs> genres of books, as well as people who can help you get started. You can interview, you can get vast information so that you too can have your book published and your book available for sale. Now, this is, as Dr. Nettles reminded us, the second Montgomery uh, Book Fest and Writing Expo. I am super excited about it and thrilled about it. 
and the number of authors we have added more authors this year than we had last year. So uh, we're looking for a crowd uh, to come out and support uh, the Montgomery Book Fest and Writing Expo on Saturday, March 11th, 2023 at the Armory Learning Center. Looking forward to that. But remember, you can support these authors any time of the year, but come out and meet them, come out and support them, find more information, get to see their books up front while we can be outside. Come on outside. It it plans to be a wonderful day and a wonderful opportunity. And while you're there, you know, hopefully you can get a a little sliver of cake because BK Royston Publishing is on tour. So we're celebrating 15 years everywhere we go. So we just not having a one-timer, but at all the stops. Uh, So we look forward to that on Saturday as well. So you be blessed and all that you do. Thank you so much for listening. Support these authors. That's my last time. Support, support, support. Share it, like it, comment, and uh, be sure uh, and understand and realize that leaders are readers. Be blessed and have a great day.